Welcome to the final video of my business lifecycle series. We've finally made it. We've been through the pre-filing circle, we've been through the post-filing circle, and now we're at the final step in our process. We're back to the filing with the state, which needs to be done sometimes on an annual basis. So my name is Andrew Ayers. I'm an attorney who focuses on small businesses, helping them get started and grow, and estate planning for those business owners to make sure their wills and trusts and healthcare documents are all put together. This has been a series of videos for you on the business life cycle. Now, wherever you are in this process, it's always a good thing to review with your accountants and your attorneys and other professionals to make sure that you're ready to take those next steps. Now, if you've skipped ahead in the video or if you haven't got started yet, if you haven't started that company, you're still in the pre-filing stage. I suggest you go back and watch the videos on choosing a name, choosing the owners, choosing your corporate form, and setting your lineup. If you've already started your company, maybe you've been doing this for years, you're in the post-filing side of the circles. You'll want to check again on your agreements, your resolutions, make sure your employees and your employment agreements are up to date, and make sure that last year's annual meeting got completed. Wherever you are in this process, uh, I'm here and I'm happy to help you and speak to you about making sure that you're taking the correct next steps. Regardless of where you are in this process, going back to setting our lineup, Back in step number four, I want to remind you how important it is to work with your team of advisors. Make sure your technology is up to date. Make sure you've spoken to your accountant. Make sure you've gone over where you are this year and where you hope to be next year. Have you spoken to your lawyer to make sure that all of your corporate documents and your filings are up to date? Have you checked in with your mentor? It's, maybe it's been a weird year and you haven't had time and you've been busy. Maybe it's time to schedule that coffee and just check in with the mentor and see how things are going. If you don't have one already, get a financial advisor to speak to you about the financial situation of your business and your personal side and make sure that we're taking the most advantage of your financial situation. And then again, one of my personal uh, preferences, make sure you have a very strong marketing department. Whether it's somebody who is with you as an employee or whether you're using independent contractors, make sure at this point that your marketing is up to snuff and ready to go. It's helping your business grow. So we've been through the entire life cycle we're back here, we filed our annual, we've had our annual meetings, we filed with the state. So then the next question is what do we do next? And the answer is whatever's next for your business. Find a way to grow, try something new. If you need some marketing ideas, you know, aside from being an attorney, I also have to market my practice. I'm happy to sit down, have a cup of coffee, have a virtual consultation, and let's talk about where you are marketing wise, where your company is legally, and let's look for some ways to grow. Some accountants will do that with you. Your professional financial advisor can work with you on the financial side, but now is not the time just to sit back and do nothing. Now is the time to find those next steps to help your business grow. If you need to speak to me, call my office, shoot me an email, and let's set up a legal strategy session.